Welcome back to Watkins Glen. Well, the track has been dried after a two-hour delay. I know these guys are glad to be back in their race cars. You know, it's amazing that as long as I drove a race car, I, I never ate on the day of a race. Just, I just never had any appetite. But uh, when you have a rain delay, then all of a sudden I get hungry. <laughs> I, I know uh, Derek got hungry, but he's been fed. He's now ready to go to work. And we were talking with some of the pit crews up and down pit road. They're actually happy the rains came. There's a couple of different road course racing series that's here this weekend. And they're laying down different compounds of rubber. So now the rains came, washed all of that compound of rubber off, left the cars with a clean racetrack to race on. Well, we'll see how they handle this clean racetrack. There is Mark Davis in the 18, Matt Kobolak in the 40. Yeah, NASCAR has put Matt Kobolak back behind Mark Davis, so they felt that he passed Mark Davis after the caution flag came out, or at least they went back to the previous lap, and Mark Davis was in the lead. Well, here comes the green. We're racing again at the Glen, and there comes Kovala. He's gonna try it on the outside this time. That's a tough way to go. Max Dumare right there, the 16 cars third. There's Steve Park fourth, Jeffrey Earnhardt right now running fifth. Two trouble. Is that Peyton Sellers who's off course in the 44? It is Peyton Sellers. It looked like maybe Jamie Hayes in the 52 car. We stay green for now. Tough break for Peyton Sellers and Jamie Hayes. Got together in turn one on that restart. So easy to do here. As they come through that inner loop. Mark Davis, Kovalak. Steve Park is running very well right now in the 35 car. And Steve's being shown in the fourth position. Jeffrey Earnhardt running fifth. There's the 81 car of Jason Holhouse. He's had a pretty decent run going today. There's Max Dumeray. You see the gap between Max Dumeray in third and the second place car of Matt Kobla. I'll tell you what, Steve Park wants to get by it. Exactly, because that gap there, Steve would not be this aggressive if Max Dumoulin was right up on the rear bumper of Matt Kobluck. Now Steve's going to try, try to take over that third spot. They make a little contact getting in one. Boy, and they got Dumoulin really loose. Jeffrey Earnhardt's going to get to the inside going in turn number two. He's got the preferred line on the inside. So Dumoulin loses a couple of positions. Some of the veterans driving there of Steve Park in the 35. One car has lost power completely. Yeah, that's that damaged car of Jamie Hayes right there. That more than likely will necessitate a full course yellow. It's just before the entrance to the inner loop. So Jeffrey Earnhardt right now currently running in the fourth spot right behind Steve Park. Remember Steve Park drove for DEI in the Cup Series. Had a lot of success. Actually ran in 1997, ran the Bush Series for DEI. Won three races that year. Had a great season. They started a team, the Pennzoil team back then, with DEI. And Steve Park was the first driver for DEI in the Cup Series. Had some great moments there. And now says he's out here and he's racing and he loves what he's doing. No caution flag yet for Jamie Hayes' car. The car's entered turn number one down the hill. There's Perez, that 12 car, trying to make his way back towards the front. Remember, he made a pit stop onto the caution flag. See right there, he's currently shown in the eighth position. I'll be curious to see if Jamie Hayes' car is still here on the racetrack. Don't see it, boy. Some smoke there. Yeah, that's Peyton Sellers' car. Remember, that's the other car that was involved in an incident with Jamie Hayes. He has a tire rub on the right front. Mark Davis trying to get by him. That will put Peyton Sellers a lap down. Kobolak gets by as well. Undoubtedly, Jamie Hayes was there's Jamie Hayes. He was able to refire that car. Again, just trying to creep towards pit road. As long as he can stay moving, I don't think NASCAR will throw the caution flag. Sellers in some real trouble with that tire rub. Meanwhile, Mark Davis, Matt Kobolak. Steve Park runs third. There's Rogelio Lopez. 
two cars behind them. That's their pole sitter, Antonio Perez. Moves down to the inside to try to make a move going into turn number one. That's Perez on the left of your screen. He does make the move on the one car of Trevor Bain. Moves up another spot. Now he's got Rogelio Lopez to 0-3 right in front of him. There's Ricky Carmichael running in the 10th spot right there, the Monster Energy Drink Chevrolet. You know, you talked about at the beginning of the broadcast about pit stops and pit strategy, and that late pit stop may come back to haunt our pulses. Antonio Perez. He has a great race car. He's been able to pass a lot of cars, but just how much of his stuff has he used up getting back towards the front? Well, it is Mark Davis, Max Kobolak, Steve Park up front.